Hello, beautiful people. It's Natasha, aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto, and I'm back with another recipe for you. This one is another truffle recipe, a nacho truffle, and it is on point. First things first, I'm going to make a basic queso recipe with Rotel and Velveeta. I know Velveeta may not be the best cheese option, but it works in this recipe. So I went ahead and just cubed up the cheese just to make it easier for it to melt down with the sauce with the Rotel. And then I'm going to put it in the pan and get that going. More so than cooking it, we're just trying to warm this and bring it together. I kept it on a very low heat and just kept stirring it consistently to make sure it didn't stick and everything worked out beautifully. Look at the sauce. Look at that. Mm. Okay, now it's time to pull together the ingredients for the chaffle. Per usual, I use one ounce of softened cream cheese. For this savory recipe, I use a quarter cup of Mexican blend shredded cheese and two teaspoons of the nacho cheese seasoning by Flavor God. Okay, I'm gonna add one whole egg to the mix, then a little dash of onion powder, some Mexican fiesta seasoning. I then added a quarter of a cup of Mexican blend cheese to the mix. I then added about a teaspoon of purple onion to the wet mix, gave it a good whisk, and set it aside. I then chopped up about four ounces of fresh mozzarella, but a tip with this, you really wanna dry this out, wrap it in a paper towel or something because it's very wet and you don't want that. Same thing with the loom. Okay, so my cheese is set aside, my egg mixture is ready. Now I wanna add some of the beef that I wanna put on top of the chopper to a pan along with some purple onion, saute that in some Kerrygold butter, just warm it up a little bit and season it a little bit more. I added some nacho seasoning to this along with some Mexican Fiesta seasoning just to make sure we got some extra flavor all throughout. I then added about a third of a cup of the queso mixture to the ground beef, and then I'm gonna add that to the egg mixture that we're gonna use for the chaffles. We're gonna top the chaffles with ground beef, but I wanted to add that inside of it as well. Okay, be careful if you're using these dash waffle makers. They're very hot, the surface is hot, so be careful with that. Go ahead and then spray with nonstick spray, and then start layering down your initial layer of cheese. This mozzarella was fresh, and so it was very watery. Again, I would recommend drying it out with a paper towel before you do this, or else it kind of browns too fast. So yeah, just a little diva tip. Once you add your cheese and whatever other fillings you want to put on there, I would suggest cooking the chaffles for at least two minutes. Every waffle maker will be different, but if you open it too soon, it's just going to tear it apart. So just be patient, cook it for about two minutes.
Apart from the ground beef, make sure that I add it to the eggs for the initial part of the chaffle. I set aside half and we're going to start topping that on the chaffle along with the sour cream, tomatoes, guacamole, the cheese sauce, everything else. This chaffle is actually really good for meal prep. You can do the base chaffle ahead of time, seal them in a food saver, set them aside, do the ground beef ahead of time, make the cheese sauce ahead of time, chop the onions, tomatoes ahead of time. It's really easy to do this and have all the components together set aside and just throw it together when you're ready to eat it, warm it up and you're good to go. I really enjoyed making this tutorial for you guys about as much as I enjoyed eating the dish because it's so good. I hope you make it too and love it.